Vice President Kamala Harris is going all out to promote the LGBTQ agenda as her approval rating takes a dive. Well, she hosted a big pride shindig at her home last week, packed with celebrities, drag queens, and of course, more Democrats. The festivities were reportedly sponsored by GLAAD, the organization behind the constant massive promotion of LGBTQ related content throughout the entertainment industry. A week later, which was the day before the 4th of July, an NBC poll found that Harris Net negative rating is now at minus 17, the lowest vice presidential rating in American history. And that's saying something. Is it possible more people are fed up with the onslaught of pride programming and perversity? We'll find out. I'm David Fiorazzo, and this is Christ and Culture. It's official, not that it matters, but Kamala Harris is the most unpopular vice president since approval ratings first began. Now, we can opine about why her ratings are so awful. Some suggest it's due to the Biden administration's policies that have not helped average Americans and are considered to be failures. Um, The economy, the southern border, politicized DOJ and FBI, as well as the push to indoctrinate school children at the youngest ages and the transgender ideology on steroids. So let's be honest. Pride is now celebrated and promoted all year round. It's not just Pride Month, not just June. And yet many on the left have a problem with Americans celebrating our independence, the flag, the Constitution, and even using the word patriotic. Well, the hypocrisy and tyranny never end. At the extremist uh, extravaganza last week, Kamala Harris said this. As Pride Month comes to a close, let us remember that pride is and has always been patriotic. And as we confront the attacks on LGBTQ plus rights across the country, let us remember that we are in this together. Pride is patriotic. Also, who's we? We who? The marketing of evil and sexual perversion is patriotic? But being proud of our country, the American flag, our Christian faith, and our freedom is not patriotic? Hmm. Okay, got it. Well, naturally, White House propaganda minister and press secretary Karine Jean-Pierre was at the VP's home LGBTQ plus event, among other cultural influencers. Now, you may be wondering why the left keeps catering to a minority of loud, proud radicals. Well, this administration is known by, is, they have been known for some of their endless corruption and controversial statements that are ignored or underreported or unreported by the liberal media. Obama Biden Democrats are either well protected or People are just not paying attention anymore. Sadly, I think it's both. Speaking in front of New York City's infamous Stonewall Inn, the location, by the way, of the the riot that launched the gay rights movement, this was a few weeks ago, Kamala Harris declared, quote, this fight is not over. When I look at the fact that in our country, we're looking at somewhere around 600 bills being proposed or passed anti-LGBT, TQ book bans, a policy approach that is don't say gay, people in fear for their life, people afraid to be, to be. <laughs> yeah, you can imagine the drama behind those words. Well, banning depraved pornographic materials aimed at school children is wrong. Protecting public school kids causes gay people to fear for their lives? Really, such dramatic rhetoric. Some of us tried warning uninformed voters about Harris prior to the 2020 election. She has practically redefined radical, and that's saying something. Remember who we're dealing with. Here are a couple points. Harris was one of the most liberal senators in U.S. history before becoming VP. She proudly supports abortion on demand through birth, 
and wants more federal funding for the slaughter of preborn babies. She even voted with Senate Democrats to block a GOP bill that would have required doctors to give care to infants born alive after botched abortions. Kamala Harris also touted Medicare for All. She's on board with forcing taxpayers to fund transgender surgeries. Harris has even gone so far as to compare ICE to the KKK. She supports everything green, including the Green New Deal, mandatory gun buybacks, and would legalize prostitution if it's consensual. Prior to being ushered into the White House, Harris boasted that she would support the use of the Justice Department to strike down pro-life laws, among other things. Harris and her family have had ties to China and still do. And she also, and, and also she believes Catholics and Christians are unfit to serve in our nation's courts. But the question some of us are asking is, does it matter anymore at this point? Maybe, maybe not. Is there a connection between the abysmal record low approval ratings of Kamala Harris now and her far left radicalism? Um, well, she has the worst ratings of any president in any vice president in history and is the least qualified, most likely, <laughs> to serve in that office. But yet, here we are. Abigail Olson at the Washington Stand believes the issue people have with Harris is both her personality and bad policies. Olson writes, quote, as the backlash to Pride Month has shown, most Americans are running from the extreme ideology of the current White House. In the absence of a key policy role, she has to rely on how the public perceives her. And unfortunately for the vice president, she is seen by many as off-putting and abrasive. Now, Harris wanted America's approval, at least half of America, through her hyper-inclusiveness of all things LGBTQ. But I hope the radicals realize that they are excluding a vast majority of Americans who are fed up with the Fed pushing pride, perversion, and endless virtue signaling. Inclusive? They keep using that word. I do not think it means what they think it means. God bless you and keep speaking the truth about things that matter.